This is unity. Masech Menachot, Chavtayet, Amod Aleph, 27a, says, The Lulav, the Etrog, the four species that are taking on Sukkot, two of them, or Simperot, two of them bear fruit, and two of them, and Simperot, two of them do not bear fruit, right? We say that the Lulav comes from a date tree, Etrog comes from a citron tree, those bear fruit. Va Hadassim Aravor, twigs from non-fruit bearing trees. And still, the Torah tells us, put them together. We know the sages tell us, that they represent different types of people. As the etrog gives a taste and, and has a smell, representing those who have Torah and mitzvot, masim tovim, then the lav doesn't have any taste or smell, right? I'm sorry, it has a, has a, has a the taste, or has a, either a smell or no taste, or no taste, but a sm- uh, taste but no smell, represents people who have only Torah or only mitzvot or, or uh, mitzvot and no Torah, and you have the aravot who have no taste, no smell, or people don't have anything whatsoever, still the job is to put them all together and to have ahdut nonetheless. And you do not fulfill the mitzvah if you do not have all four of them together. Just like you do not fulfill the mitzvah when all Am Yisrael is not together. There's no such thing as exclusive. You leave some people out. The Torah was only given to this group of Jews. No, there's no such thing. You have to include everybody and it's not a real mitzvah unless they're all tied together in one bundle. And it's not like, okay, fine, you can sit next to me. No, it's we're one bundle. We accept everybody just like him. I accept him just as much as him. I mean, the sages tell us that uh, in the, when the temple times, when it comes to the Mashiach's times, all the Jews are going to do Ali Ali right? We're all going to go to the Bit Mikdash. The question is, how are we going to fit? How are we all going to fit there? So someone uh, told me that the, 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 it's not going to, it's going to be miraculous. Obviously, the land of Israel is going to expand, but the measurements of the temple are finite. They're, they're already explicitly listed in the, in the Navi. So how are we all going to fit? So he says, just like when a person needs to go to work, right? He sees the jam-packed subway. He throws himself in there. He's going to be squished. The doors are closed. And he goes, everybody, you know, sucks their stomach and go, <gasps> okay, close the door. And they go and they, and they sit there uncomfortable for the whole purpose of getting into work and everybody understands, okay, so you squished up against me, it's only for like 20 minutes, it's fine, whatever, you know, and you bedilvi avor. So the same thing, a person has to know that you should do uh, in the temple when we're trying to do the great mitzvah of getting all together, Jews together and serving Kadosh Baruch Hu, we should overlook all these things. And then just like over there, we overlook, we over here, we also overlook. But deeper than that, when your brother comes to sit you next to you on the couch, you don't tell him, hey, why are you sitting next to me? Go sit over there. You don't care, he's your brother, he's sitting on top of me, next to me, or it doesn't bother me. It's so therefore the same thing when all the Jewish people are loving each other like brothers, then we don't mind when we're on top of each other. We wouldn't mind it at all. At all. It's like a family. And we you know when you're, and someone told me even sharper, they said, when you don't, when you bow, right? When you're gonna bow and it's gonna be very stuffy over there, right? The Gemara says it's miraculous how we all bow. Okay, we can stand and fit there, but how are we all gonna bow? Is when you don't mind, when you bow, your face is gonna be in the area of the person in front of you, behind him, and you don't mind, that's where we're all going to fit. But when you're meticulous about, give me my space, and who are you, and yeah, 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 I deserve it, why you have to be so next to me, you're bothering me, then we're not going to fit. When we're going to fit, when we have a hadut, then we all love each other and we can stand each other. V'chein Yisrael Barsa, so to B'nai Yisrael, when we seek Hashem's appeasement, the request is not granted, until we're all bundled together, therefore the mitzvah is dependent on Avat Yisrael. As Avot the Rinatan says, Sinat Abreut Ketzad, what is the example of hatred of mankind? Shaloi Chaven Adam Lomar, a person shouldn't have in mind to say, Ehovet HaTalmidim, Usnait Amaretz, I will love the Torah scholars and I'll hate the unlearned. Rather, El Ahov Kulam, I have to love everybody, even the person who doesn't have, a, doesn't have any taste or smell, doesn't have any Torah or any mitzvot, I have to love him as well, I have to include him as well. Many people, Chosei B'Tshuva from Chabadnikim. Why? Because a lot of love, love, you are so far. And I still love you and I still give you attention. I still give you free stuff. And I say, hey, did you do a mitzvah today? Hey, how you feeling today? Hey, you want to join us in this wonderful uh, get together? And they come. And what? And the guy says, you know, nobody ever said how I'm doing. Nobody asked me if I did a mitzvah today. Nobody asked me if I want to have a good time and join a party. These people did. And that's why I'm Chosei B'Tshuva today. So therefore we see that a person has to do with a lot of love and you bring the Jewish people.